your Pentair OmniFilter Quick Connect Tankless Reverse Osmosis System has been delivered. This compact undersink system overcomes traditional reverse osmosis system drawbacks. This system features real-time water quality monitoring, filter change indicator, and Quick Connect filter replacement. Complete the install and enjoy cleaner, fresher water straight from your tap. Before we unbox the system, let's take care of a few things. Clean out everything under your sink. Make sure the install area is within five feet of a 110 volt grounded outlet. Inspect the drain pipes under the sink for corrosion. If there is anything wrong with the pipes, that needs to be repaired first. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Main body assembly. Power adapter, composite filter, CF, and carbon filter, CV. RO membrane cartridge, RO. T connector valve. Smart faucet. Quarter inch tubing, white. Quarter inch tubing, red. Three eighths inch tubing, white quarter inch and 3 8 inch quick connect locking clips, quarter inch quick connect fittings, drain line clamp, front cover, owner's manual and quick reference guide. Now that we've unboxed the system, we can gather the recommended tools. Two towels, electric drill and quarter inch bed, attractive safety glasses, adjustable wrenches, Phillips screwdrivers, utility knife, pencil or marker. Ready? Now we can start our install. First, turn off the cold water supply. Then, turn on your faucet to release any water left inside. Note, this is for the cold water line only. Next, install the T-connector valve on the cold water valve and tighten it with your wrench. Attach the cold water line to the T-connection valve and tighten. Important, if you are working on a sink that does not have a hole for a separate faucet, you will need a 3 quarter inch center punch to drill the hole. Locate the proper place for the faucet, tape it, circle it, and put on the safety glasses and drill the hole. Next, place the faucet into the hole in your counter. Secure the faucet by adding the washer and locking nut and tighten. Next, install the drain clamp. Put this on a vertical section of the drain pipe. It is easier if the opening of the clamp is facing the same direction of the system. Next, tighten the drain clamp to the drain pipe. Using the fitting hole of the clamp as a guide, Drill a hole into the drain pipe. The quarter inch drill bit followed by the 3 8 inch bit works best here. Now onto the tubing. If you have a gravity drain line, always keep your eye out for loops and kinks because those can cause problems. Connect quarter inch red tube to the drain clamp and attach the other end to the drain connection on the system. Attach the quarter inch white tubing to the faucet and attach the other end to the outlet connection on the system. Connect the faucet power adapter to the faucet power outlet on the system and tighten. Cut the 3 8 inch PE tube to the appropriate length. Feel free to customize length based off of your personal sink setup and insert one end into the inlet connection on the system. It's a good trick to add some water to the end and insert it with a little wrist twist. Then, Connect the other, opposite end of the 3 8 inch PE tube to the T-connector valve. Next, tighten the compression nut onto the T-connector valve. Now it's time to insert our filter cartridges. See these black rubber stoppers with red tape at the top of the cartridges? They need to be removed. Insert these with the handle parallel to your floor and then turn perpendicular and at the bottom is the CF filter cartridge. And the middle, you'll see CB filter cartridge. At the top is the RO membrane cartridge. 
Now the cartridges are done. Next, turn your water supply back on. Now, attach the power source to the system. Take the electrical adapter that came in the box and plug the smaller end into the power outlet on the back of the system. And plug the system into the outlet near your sink. You'll hear a beep and four indicator lights will blink. Allow five minutes for automatic flushing. Then turn your faucet on and allow the water to run for 30 minutes. Check for leaks. It is likely you won't have any. We recommend not drinking the water for at least 24 hours, but it's okay to use water for cooking or cleaning. Now you can enjoy fresh, cold, better tasting water on demand. Pour yourself a nice big glass. Cheers.